Hey scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I'm your student teacher, Empress Shona is loved. And I wanted to come to you today with a quick video just so that I can stay on the radar. So what I have been doing is living life, okay? It is the end of the school year and my children have had projects. I was gonna say products. They have had projects and tournaments and oh my goodness actually i've had to start another sport track and field i mean it's been hopping you know they started that so we've had a lot of good living going on and i'm grateful for that shout out to all the good moms out there um this past weekend was mother's day and i just want to say you good moms are great. You good moms are fantastic. I want to say if you're a mother but not a good mother, that you know that in your heart. And just go ahead and make those steps to, to, to step up your game. You know what I mean? I'm not one to believe that every mother is a good mother. But every mother who wants to step up her game is worthy of a chance of doing so because she's the only person in the world that risked her life to give you life, okay? So we want to again acknowledge good moms, say happy Mother's Day. If you're not a good mom, once again, happy Mother's Day to you, but please go about stepping up your game. And you know, I gotta say that because um, a lot of times um, people don't know where to start. You know, and also if you're not a good mom, you know, your children aren't telling you all the time in the right way. Some of them are full of violence and anger, so you're not able to receive that. You know, some of them, if you're like me, don't really say a whole lot. You know, um, we highly suspect how a loved one is going to respond and we make a choice not to deal with that. And then that leads to silence. Okay. So, um... If you hear from me and I don't know you, that's a non-biased commentary, which is good because it'll help you accept it more. And you know in your heart whether you've been a good mother or not. So, um, and being a mother on its own doesn't make you a good mother, all right? So maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. What makes a good mother, okay? And I am a good mother striving to be better. Okay, and I will again, yeah, you know what? I just talked myself into a video. We're gonna talk about that because I think that's extremely important, extremely important. I didn't even come on here to talk about that. I came to tell you where I've been, but you know, that's relevant too because since I have been a little MIA and off the radar, I wasn't able to say Happy Mother's Day. So I wanna make sure I do that to all the Spirit Scholars community, okay? And one thing I wanna say too on that same note, if you don't know where to start and you don't feel like you've been a good mom, um, start with listening. Start with listening. And if listening is too hard for you, because I, that is very hard for some people, they really just don't want to hear anything negative about themselves. <clears throat> and sometimes, you know, it is true coming from children, it can be a little exaggerated and you hyper-focus on the exaggeration as opposed to the essence of what's trying to be said. I just love how this camera comes on and I just, bam. But, um, but what you want to focus on is just l listening, okay? If you can't listen and listening is too hard for you because you're just too sensitive, you can't take that right now, start with a gift. Start with a gift. Just buy something. You know, a card from the dollar store. Um, you know, if you're on that resource level, they're only 50 cents. Start with that and just say, I love you, daughter. I love you, son. Come on now, that's so simple. Um, just start with that. And that will def definitely, that thoughtfulness will definitely open up the bridges for the both of you or all of you. Um, 
And, um, of course, if you have more resources than that, then, you know, hey, get, get, you know, get a bigger gift. But not too big because you don't want it to focus on the gift. You want it to just be a gateway if you can't, if you can't listening. But really, listening is the best place to start, okay? Non-judgmental listening. Just listening. Just giving that child an opportunity to vent, okay? And so with that said, I want to say uh, shout out to my mom. And this is really what I got on camera for. So this is awesome. Shout out to my mother, um, who I'm so grateful to have been my mother. Um, love my mother. <laughs> um, just love my mom. I'm just so very grateful. And um, man, thinking about my mom, I just got to go back. You know, it just, man, I, I always said this. I love my mom so much. That when she breathed, when she would take a nap and she breathed out, I would try to breathe in to catch the breath that she was exhaling. Okay? So I was into that lady. <laughs> and I still do love my mother. Still do love my mother. And speaking of my mother, this is actually why I turned on this camera. Um, and I'm just so excited to share this, guys, with you. My mother, two years ago, my beloved husband was busying around and, and um, obviously mistakenly lost our cameras. And the cameras had a lot of um, pictures and memories and even plans on those cameras, okay? So what I mean by plans is we I, there were recordings on there that were for something in the future, some PhD and me videos and things like that. So, you know, that was a very, very shocking and um, discouraging revelation to find out that that camera bag had been misplaced and maybe even perhaps stolen, but it was never returned. And so that was like in July of, like I said, about two years ago. Actually, it hasn't even been two years yet. This year will be two years. And I'm one that if something's disturbing me, I can't, I don't like to deal, I don't like to talk about it or give it too much attention, okay? <laughs> so, um, my mom, a couple of months later, she saw, was busy on QVC, as she does, <laughs> and, um, she saw this camera. She told me that she saw it on QVC. And she saw this camera. And um, she purchased it for me. And it's a whole camera pack. And this is the camera. I just put the battery in it. And what else did I do? The card was already in it. I think this is an extra lens. And I'm so excited that I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, read, instead of just clicking on um, buttons the way I normally <laughs> get started with my technology and then get frustrated when I don't know how it works and have my daughter read the book. Because <laughs> uh, my daughter does things the right way. She reads the, 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 the instruction manual first and then deals with it. So she, she can avoid most frustrations, okay? But... Not me. I just put the battery in and start clicking. But this time, because I'm so excited about the potential of this camera that I actually read, I can't do it with one hand, but I read the quick start instructions. So I know how to shoot a picture with this camera. I've already shot one and it came out really cool. It came out really cool. You guys probably can't see it, but it's a picture of a um, saying that I have. And so it came out really, really nice. So I'm excited about that. But what I don't know how to do yet is, excuse me guys, um, it is spring, it's algae season and my nose is a little itchy. Um, what I don't know how to do yet is shoot video. So this page, this talks about shooting movies, which I think they're using to describe shooting video. And I am going to get on and um, start reading this, okay? So I'm hoping that this will be my new PhD in me shooting camera instead of my phone, because my phone has been clogged with um, 
pictures and videos and that leaves less space in my phone for apps and other things. Oh, speaking of that, for Mother's Day and apps and phones and all this type of stuff, I got this for Mother's Day. Isn't that exciting? It's an Apple Watch. So I'm still learning how to busy with that, but that's cool. Shout out to my husband and children. They blessed me with that um, Sunday, because today's Tuesday, with the Apple watch so now i'm cool i'm cool <laughs> i'm cool when i'm in uh, workout class although i'm not i don't know if this was set properly um i just i, I still gotta figure it out bottom line i still gotta figure it out so i keep you guys posted with that and i'm hoping this will be my regular all the time shooting camera so thank you so much mom as I was saying, it, it took a while. You guys, it, this, she bought it almost two years ago. But really, I was so disturbed by all those cameras being miss, missing. I won't even tell you it was on those cameras because um, they were, he, they, it was the entire camera bag of all the cameras we owned at the time. And, um, and, and some disc that were in there. And it just was a lot of things that ended up missing. So... A lot of processing I had to do after that. A lot of lessons came out of it. But um, I didn't even want to see a camera <laughs> after that for a long, long time. Which is why I did not even open this camera until now. I'm much more healed from that situation. And now I'm ready to begin anew in regard to cameras. Okay, The only camera I had been using since that time was my phone. But again, shout out to my mom for getting me the Canon EOS Rebel T6. Wasn't that beautiful? That is just awesome. Thank you, mom, for that. And my husband, this past Christmas, got me this gargantuan <laughs> um, camera. And this is going to be the super duper. Okay, so we're not even going to get into that right now. But when we do, I'll keep you posted on that. That is another Canon, and like I said, that is, this is the blaster coming at you camera, okay? So that's a whole different story. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm going to start with my mom's gift to me, um, trying to bless me after um, having some compassion and knowing that um, losing those cameras and that equipment and those memories was a total bummer so she definitely blessed me by um by blessing me with this gift and now i'm ready to move forward and take good care of it and not let my husband touch it <laughs> and um and also myself because we know that my husband um misplacing that bag um, any any of us could have done it. Lord knows I'd be the first one to put something in the wrong spot and can't remember where I put it, right? So um, it's, it's really not about that. But um, it definitely is about keeping an eye. It is, a, it is about learning lessons from things we have experienced, okay? So let's see. What else, guys? That's what I'm going to be doing. And in the meantime, like I said, I just wanted to touch base. So I also want to share my shirt with you guys. No bad days. That was a gift from my husband and um, asked me how I'm feeling. I'm blessed. Yes. Living every moment. No regrets. Smile upon my face. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. Yes. Thank you, Brother Charlie Wilson. And I'm going to end the video on that note. No bad days. No bad days. Okay, Spirit Scholars. So with that said, I want to remind you that you are loved. Because indeed you are. And I want to remind you that I'm coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds.